Hey guys, welcome back and happy, I believe it's Thursday at this point. Thursday, today is the day that we are getting ready to meet up with everybody who's in London. I am so excited from 7 to 9 p.m. tonight at All Bar 1. I wanted to kind of give you guys an update, do some videos really quick, and um, yeah, then I have to hit the road. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. Okay, guys, so you know that the holidays are here. It's not even that they're coming. They are here and I have a gift for you. You guys know because I'm always asked about my skincare, this is my secret and her name is Bloomy. All you have to do is just gently rub her up and down your skin. And she uses microcurrents to lift, rejuvenate, illuminate, and get all of the inflammation out, which is absolutely amazing, especially after you've traveled. So if you guys are interested, then make sure you check out the link that's in the description of this video or pinned in the comment section because normally she's $150, but you get $70 off with the link. And on top of that, if you don't absolutely love her, then they will, blooming, refund your money. But guys, we have to talk about the Kim and Croy of it all because this just keeps getting crazier. You guys know, like, I know if you haven't seen the footage yet, I'm going to share it with you. It's pretty wild. There was a video that came out, TMZ has it, and it shows Corey Bierman having a complete meltdown in front of police claiming that Kim Zolciak wanted to move forward with divorce because she was allegedly sleeping with other men. Now, the explosive domestic violence call erupted literally on, it was this one, back from November 20th, at their Georgia mansion when one of their four children thought that the argument was getting violent and called 911 for help. A squad of Milton Police Department patrol cars sped to the house where they found Croy arguing with Kim, who had hunkered down in her white vehicle to avoid him. And she's just crying. As the officer asked Croy to step away from Kim to talk privately, he literally went on this whole rant about his wife, saying it's just a bunch of nonsense. He screamed. He called Kim Zolciak a narcissist. All hell literally broke loose, and the officer is calmly asking Croy about what's going on. He said, our life, our life, and it's fucking destroyed. That's what he's screaming at the top of his lungs. And then Croy got more agitated when the officer asked why his life was destroyed. And he said, because our life is destroyed. What don't you understand? There's no money. There's no house. We're getting a divorce one day, and then we're not the next. He's pissed, 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 pissed. She's king other men. What do you want? And when the officer asked him to calm down, he flew into another crazy rage. Calm down. I don't have a fucking life. I want to play the videos for you guys because this shit, legitimately, this is wild. Hold on. Here we go. Our life. What the, our life. Okay, and it's so fucking why, destroyed. Why why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed. What don't you understand? There's no money. There's no house. She wants we're we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. What do you want? Just calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a fucking life. And I don't have somebody who won't fucking listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. How did he not go to jail for this? I th That's the part that's kind of crazy to me. Like, I would have thought that he would have been arrested for this kind of behavior. Let's see another one. Huh? I can argue. Okay, what were you guys arguing about? Okay, so what what failed in the argument? Verbal argument. Okay. Were you following her around the house and you guys were arguing? Yeah, yeah well, I can be here and be yelling at somebody 100 feet away. Right. That's why I'm asking. So right. you were following her around the house while you guys were arguing? We were looking at Okay, but when she moved from one room to another, you went to that other room, correct? Listen, no lines have been crossed. 
far as from I know, I'm just trying to get statements so we can figure this all out. There's, there's, no, there's no reason you guys don't even need to be here. This is comma drama. Okay, and that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. To figure out how can we figure there, out this The bottom was. is there was a verbal argument. That's it. There's nothing to figure out. Okay. What's going on tonight? Well, I need to know what's going on because your kid's called. So I need to know what's going on. You gotta talk to your kids. From what your kids have been saying, you guys have been arguing. No, I, I just saw I was you arguing. crying. No, no, he said he saw you crying. Your kids did not see, did not say anything turned physical. He said no. he thought he saw something, he but it sounded like more Croy was just trying to get you away from him, like putting his hand no, out like this. Trying to not let me leave. So That's what I'm saying. Yeah, whatever. I'm just saying yeah. Croy was just doing this with his hand. And yeah. And and fucking trying not to get me to leave, like like this, yeah, like, and that's, like this, out of the gate. I was trying yeah. to please leave me alone. Like I'm, I got it down the road. I was walking down the road in a bathroom, looking like an idiot, and he's screaming, "I don't give a fuck about these neighbors, you dumb bitch!" Like just screaming in my ear. I don't. He doesn't want the divorce. That's the problem. Yeah. And I don't. I can't. Do okay. This is crazy, and the reason I'm saying that this is crazy is because. When he's going into this freaking rage, this rage right here. What the, our life okay, and it's so fucking why, destroyed. Why why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed. What don't you understand? He's this is scary at this point. And the reason I say it's scary is because I feel like when people feel like there is nothing left to lose, that's when people start to get very alarming in their behavior. And that's when people become unpredictable. And right now it looks like he's just at this point, like I lost my money. I lost my wife. I don't have any family left. Like, but you have your kids, you have your family. You just don't have your money because you and your wife were really reckless with it. But then also if he feels like he lost his wife, he's losing his house. He lost all of his money. And he thinks that she's out there cheating with other men, then that could be something that's has the potential of making him go crazy. And also, when you look at the two of them, they did everything together, they had the show together, they were on top of the world. And I feel like she has the ability to get under his skin and drive this man crazy. I'm not blaming it on her, even though spending all of the money, like they did that together, yes, but she was the one who apparently has the gambling addiction and all of that. And we even watched the show, guys. It did, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out who spent the majority of the money in this relationship. Kim loved to spend money. And now that they don't have money, I think that that was his way of keeping her happy. It was like, yes, look at me. I'm in this position. You know, I have my NFL money. And then it slowly starts going away. But then we get picked up for another season of don't be tardy but then it starts slowly going away but lo and behold we get picked up for another season so we're putting little bits of it back into our pocket but then eventually after the show got going so did all of the money and they were already in debt before that i don't know i think it's scary i think it's dangerous i think that they should have separated a long ass time ago and i think that it's just who knows what's going to come out of this this is just not something that i would want to it's not something that I would want to keep myself in. But guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Go ahead and comment below. And before you go, don't forget that tonight, again, I've said it multiple times, from 7 to 9 at All Bar 1, if you guys are in London, then come hang out with us. Make sure you RSVP to ASST at upandatomlive.com. I want to meet everybody. I love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.